Hi, good day. Here's another quick thought from a devotional book. It's entitled, This Could Be the Year. But I want to say this could be the day. The Apostle Paul in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, he's talking to believers and he's telling them that they ought not to mourn as those who have no hope. Obviously, he saw that some people were mourning the loss of loved ones. And it's not wrong to mourn, but he said we ought not to mourn like those who have no hope. He's talking to believers, and he's talking about believers in the Lord Jesus Christ. And basically, he's saying that when people die who know Christ, there's a great hope, and it's called the hope of the resurrection. And he says when Christ comes back, those who have died in Christ, or who know Christ, who give their heart to Christ, live for Jesus, and die... He says, when Christ comes back, they're going to be raised from the dead. And then he says, those of us who are alive and remain, that means we haven't died yet, we're going to be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. Rapture of the church. Jesus is coming back. People are going to be raised from the dead. Those of us who are alive and remain, who are serving Christ, are going to be caught up together with them to meet the Lord in the air. What a glorious reunion that is going to be. Many of us have had loved ones pass away. I think of my mom and my dad who passed away, one in 2014 and one in 2018, if my memory serves me correct. And uh, my, my wife, her brother, Pastor Dave, many of you knew him, uh, passed away. I believe it was 2015. And uh, wow, we think about that. We miss them and we've mourned for them. But we don't mourn as those who have no hope. Our hope is in the resurrection and the return of Jesus Christ when we will see them again. And the Bible says these old bodies that we have will be changed from these mortal bodies to immortal bodies, from bodies that get sick to bodies that will never get sick again. And we will spend the eternity with Jesus Christ. I don't know about you, but that is something that is ingrained in my belief system. I believe that. I live for that. I live with that in mind. And we should live with that in mind almost every day. Matter of fact, it will help us live the Christian life better if we live with the thought of the rapture, the coming of Jesus Christ, back to this world to receive his church, his people unto himself. Matter of fact, the Bible says that if we are looking for the coming of Christ, it purifies the hope that we have in us. In other words, it keeps us sharp. It keeps us on our toes. It keeps us living with the thought that Jesus Christ could come back. And so I need to be living in a way that pleases him each day. And if I'm not, then I need to repent of that. And I need to get right with God and go on with my service towards the Lord. The writer here says, in this increasingly chaotic world, what hopeful thought this could be? The thought that Jesus Christ could come back today or this year. More comforting still is the anticipation that everyone who trusts him for salvation will be gathered together, as I've talked about, relieved from this world's suffering, from this world's sorrow, and this world's fear. Best of all, we will be with Jesus Christ forever. The prayer Go something like this, Lord, keep me always mindful of your soon return. Thanks for the assurance that this world is not all that we have, but that a blessed eternity awaits all who trust in you. Perhaps today, perhaps tomorrow, perhaps this year, but regardless, he will come. Be ready, for in such an hour as we think not, the Bible says he will return.
So don't say it couldn't be today, because if you do, maybe today is the day. God bless you. Lindsay Burt here from Behind the Wheel. Have a fantastic rest of your day.